Hey everyone, welcome back to another Trimble Perspective training video. And in this video, we will discuss how to georeference and the minimum requirements needed to georeference your project. So let's get right into it. First things first, open your project and click the hamburger menu in the top left corner. Next, click georeference project. And if you have not already refined your project, Perspective will prompt you to do so. After ensuring your project has been refined, you are required to automatically import or manually create at least three control points for georeferencing use. These control points must be tied to annotation or precision points, and this can be done either in the field or in the office. To demonstrate, I will create an annotation on this target used for georeferencing. Please note that when you are choosing annotation points to match your control points, the Use for georeferencing box must be checked. Next, I will be importing control points that were measured in the field. And please keep in mind that if you are creating annotations for georeferencing use, that you must know the height of the target. After applying the imported points, Perspective will automatically match the control points to the annotations, completing the georeferencing process. You can also manually match the controls to the annotations by clicking on the three dots in the top left and selecting Unmatch All, allowing you to pick which control point matches the correct annotation. Oh, and by the way, Perspective georeferences in a one-to-one -one scale, so it is recommended that you work in your local or ground coordinate system. And clicking the auto button once again allows you to automatically match the control back to the correct annotation. Please note that only annotation and precision points explicitly denoted as being used for georeferencing are displayed, while all others will be hidden. Now you can either manually or automatically match your annotation or precision points to your control points, as I've previously shown. Once you have matched your points to control, you are now finished. And to reiterate, when georeferencing in perspective, please ensure that you have at least three annotation or precision points that are checked for georeferencing use to ensure you have properly georeferenced your project. Now, I thank you all for tuning in, and I hope that this was very informative. So please stay tuned for more content because it's always on the way. And until next time, see you later. <laughs>